Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me on. All right, so before we get started um, with questions, why don't you give us just a quick overview about the paint scheme and why it's so special to you heading into this weekend at Talladega? Yeah, uh, this weekend, um, both this is our right here but an extended race in the car uh in memory of Davey Allison um everyone knows Davey he's an NASCAR Hall of Famer um he's from Alabama um but a lot of people don't realize is that uh, when Davey passed away which was uh, 28 years ago um he was also a organ donor um and that's something that's obviously uh been a big part of my life with my mom she passed away and was a organ donor as well. So uh, we came up with this idea of uh, honoring Davey in uh, Talladega. And uh, before we, we move forward with it, um, we wanted to make sure it was okay with uh, his widow, Liz. So uh, we reached out to Liz and she was uh, all for it and, and super excited and one, wanted to do whatever she could to help as well um, honor Davey, but also raise awareness for organ donation, which is uh, really, really cool. All right. Well, we appreciate you um, sharing that with us and joining us today. So we're going to go to questions. A friendly reminder um, to the media who have joined us that if you have a question, feel free to raise your hand within the Zoom platform or send us a chat. We'll monitor that as well. And to kick us off with questions, we're going to go to Marty. Go ahead, Marty, with your question for Joey. Thanks, Amanda. Joey, thanks for your time. I got two for you here. First, about this paint scheme, you brought up uh, Liz there. What was her like first reaction when she saw the uh, throwback tribute to Davey? Uh, she said a lot of emotion. You know, she, there was a lot of happy and a lot of sad all at the same time. You know, it's, uh, you know, she obviously misses Davey uh, very much. And, you know, the, the 28 is very historic. And, and Davey, everything he's been able to do in that that number. So she was really happy um, to be able to see the 28 come back again one more time in, in Davey's honor and uh, especially at, at Talladega. And, uh, you know, the other thing is she knows how much it really means to Davey's fans, which, uh, you know, I've always known Davey and, and uh, I was actually born the year he, he passed away, but I didn't, I knew this was going to be a huge deal, but I didn't realize how big it was really going to be until, uh, we announced it and how many huge Davey Allison fans are still out there today, which is so cool. How about on the Yates side of things? I know the number 28 in this scheme is very uh, historical when it comes to the Yates family side of things. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I, I've actually been able to talk to Doug and I talked to Doug for about uh, 30 minutes and uh, it was the first time we've actually ever met, but uh, he was super excited as well and he was also you know emotional and and mrs davy and uh, you know he had so many different stories to tell um about their past which is also really cool last thing for me going into the weekend at talladega we spoke before daytona 500 media day you and the rest of the rick we're racing uh drivers had a game plan stay in the back avoid the big ones and make your way up near the front is that game plan the same uh entering this weekend yeah, that's always kind of the main goal. Um, you know, we luckily were able to do that uh, pretty well in, in Daytona, and we got a top 20 finish out of it. Um, hopefully uh, this time around um, we'll, we'll do a little bit better than that, and, uh, you know, if we could get a, a top 10 out of this or Davey, that would be uh, really amazing. Thank you, Joey. Best of luck this weekend, man. Thank you. All right, we're going to go to our next question from Anton. Go ahead, Anton. Thanks, Amanda. Good morning, Joey. So you are driving with the Dave Allison um, throwback scheme this weekend. Does that give you some extra momentum, extra motivation uh, for the races at Talladega? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's it's like I said, it's Davey's home track, and uh, Davey's from Alabama, so we're going to have a ton, ton of people cheering us for us there. And then also, you know, we just added <laughs> a little extra pressure, but definitely motivation to to do well for uh, Davey and his family and, and all their fans. You know, we, we definitely want to represent them in the 28 number number well. Okay, our next question is going to come from Dustin Long. Go, Dustin. Thank you. Um, Joey, I'm curious. You mentioned uh, the, uh, the the Davey Allison fans, and as you mentioned, uh, you know, it's uh, – you didn't get the chance really to see him race uh, as much as it really kind of grasp uh, what Davey Allison was like per se, maybe. Um, I'm curious, 
what have you kind of gotten a sense out of uh, just how many Davy Allison fans and just the, just, just, you know, here's a guy, as you noted, who, who has been gone for, you know, 28 years and, and certainly, you know, you bring up uh, an image of this car or his name. It does seem like that there is, uh, you know, his name certainly me- still has, has an important meaning for a lot of fans. I'm curious how you've kind of seen that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and the, the one example I, I mean, anytime I post anything on social media about Davey or the car, it just really explodes. And when we, when we made this announcement, my tweet alone got 400,000 impressions, which is you know more than anything I've ever gotten at all on, on Twitter. And, um, you know, it's, I mean, I literally, fans are sending me pictures and messages of literally shrines that they have made for Davey. Um, and, you know, like you said, he passed away 28 years ago. So it's, uh, I mean, obviously there's a ton of diehard Dylan Hart senior fans, but I would, I mean, in my opinion, since we've done this, I would say the other most beloved driver out there is definitely uh, Davey Allison. And, you know, the one thing that I hear over and over again is like, you know, obviously he's a very talented and a great race car driver. But the other thing is, is just how great of a person he was and any fan that ever, you know, met him or even if they weren't fans of him before then they are, they were then because he was just so kind to them and just such a great person. And, uh, you know, I think that really shows. And, uh, you know, that also shows by him being an organ donor, you know, 28 years ago, organ donation was super rare. It's still rare today, but 28 years ago was something that was almost really even unheard of. So for them, the Davy and his family and Liz and make that decision it just really shows how great of a person he he really was and you know so we're trying to get as many people as we can to go to registerme.org slash 28 and uh, register in his honor and also um as you alluded to just the 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 impressions that that uh, you got on social media I don't know if responsibility is the word uh but just uh you know whenever somebody has a throwback scheme, certainly it's important to a group of people, but certainly this is a larger group. Is there, uh, I don't know if it's a weight or a responsibility or just what kind of comes with it as opposed, you know, uh, being affiliated with Davey Allison with a throwback scheme, maybe opposed to some others, just because there, there's a larger fan base. I'm just kind of how that, how that has impacted you since you've gotten this program going and, and, and release this information. Yeah, there's a ton of responsibility, you know, the, the do trying to do everything the right way for, for Liz and, and Davey and doing everything as respectful as we can. And uh, like you said, there's a lot of stuff on trying to just make them proud on not everything we're doing on the racetrack and our finishes and all that kind of stuff, but just the way we're represented them and, you know, how I, I always try to be the best person I can no matter what I do. And, you know, I feel that's how – Davey always was. So I'm trying to also, you know, continue that path and and make my own boys and my own wife proud as well. Thank you, Joey. All right. Uh, Marty, did you have a follow-up question? I did, Amanda. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Let me just turn the camera on here first. So Joey, this just came up to me Uh, with this being a big tribute to Davey Allison and the big fan base Davey had. I'm curious, was there was there an increase in sponsorship and funding opportunities at Rick Ware Racing for this ride? Uh, you know, we, we definitely had a lot of interest, but, um, you know, luckily before we ever even announced this, most of our partners were already secured. And, um, you know, we, we team up with uh, Donate Life and OPOs, um, you know, a lot. That's one of our bigger partners and has been, you know, for a long time because of my mom and everything. Then we try to do there, but um, you know, for this space, we have the most amount of partners um, teaming up on the Donate Life and the OPO side, of the OPE, which is out of Alabama, um, which is responsible for all the recoveries in uh, Alabama, uh, Advancing Site, which does all the recoveries um, for I Donation Alabama. Um, we have Mora, which is the OPO in, in Mississippi, and then Lopa, which is the OPO all the way in Louisiana. So we have all those different. Uh, groups teaming up for this one race, which is uh, really, really cool. And um, you don't actually see their names on the car because their main goal is just to register organ donors. And that's what we're trying to do um, through registerme.org slash 28. And, you know, and Davey was obviously an organ donor in Alabama and actually was through um, Legacy of Hope, which was uh, a different name and then, but something that's uh, really, really cool. Awesome. Thanks again, Joey. Definitely appreciate it. All right, just want to double note additional questions for Joey. 
All right. Well, Joey, thank you so much for joining us today. And we wish you the best of luck this weekend in Talladega. Yeah, thank you so much, guys.